you're a language teacher, then TWI is one of the most interesting technologies. It generates loads of different learning content and it works in multiple languages. The brilliant news is you can now make activities and share them online. So students could do these activities for homework or they could do them on their mobile phones, etc. The better news is this is actually currently free. So you can do this on the free tool. I'm gonna take you through these updates. I'm also gonna show you what you get for free and what you get if you pay for TWI. And I have created a menu system so you can jump to the right part of the video if you already know a little bit about TWI. Really hope you like the video and let's get started. So I'm gonna quickly make a TWI in the free tool and then I'm gonna set it as an interactive activity and I'm gonna show you what the students do. I'm gonna complete the activity as a student and then I'm gonna jump back as a teacher and we'll look at the results and the information that we get after students have done the activity. I'm gonna quickly build up an activity and then share it with my students to do online. But if you do wanna learn more about TWI because you don't know it that well, then please watch the video that's on the screen now and that'll really help you to get going. But I'm gonna click on tools and I'm gonna start by producing some text. And all I'm gonna do is just write in a topic and choose the level and then we're gonna produce that text. So I've written in my topic, I've put in some target vocabulary that I'd really like to practice. I've chosen my level, I've chosen my genre of text, I've show, chosen the length, and I now click on this button here, and it says do the magic, and that's the way that it works. Now what's the great thing about TWI is that we can build on that. And obviously if we're gonna do this as an interactive activity with our students, we're gonna to wanna to create some interactive type activities. So I'm gonna add in now an A, B, C, D questions. So I'm gonna click here and again it's going to grab the text and say to me well what level and I'll say B1 again and I'm going to click on do the magic now I'm doing this really quickly as I just want to get to the stage where once I've made an activity I can share it and show you how all the new features work we're going to add one more thing because I want you to see the variety in the activities that we can create so I'm going to click on fill in the gaps this is a nice activity you simply just select the word that you want to make into a gap and click gap and that becomes a, a gap so I'm just going to do a couple just to show you okay I won't do any more and now I'm going to click on do the magic so now we've actually got a kind of lesson or a little you know a, certainly a reading comprehension with some questions and with the actual text and with the gap fill activity now if we were to go over to export you'll notice that in the free tool because I'm using the free tool I can't turn this into a PDF or, and I can't put this up onto Google Forms, Google Forms, which I can do if I've got the paid tool. However, I can assign this as a piece of homework. And notice here, all you need to do actually is to copy the link and share it with the students. You can, of course, add in the students' email addresses. And you can also just show them a QR code and they can point their phones at the screen and access the activity. So you could do this in class as well. But what I'm gonna do now is show you how this works if the students do it online, say for example, for homework. So we're gonna copy that link and I'm gonna log in now as a student as if I was clicking on that link. So I'm gonna paste in that link as if I was a student. And notice that I've got to put my name, so I'm just going to write in Fred, and I'm going to click on Start. And I did this very quickly, so it's just an article to read, followed by some questions to answer. So I'm just going to quickly write in my answers. Notice how it works. So really nice, nice layout, very clearly organized. So they've obviously put a lot of work into this. And then we can submit our answers and get immediate feedback. And if I come back to this activity here, okay, I can just drag in the words that are missing. I've only got two. And now I would click on Submit Answers. And in fact, I don't even need to click on that Submit Assignment. It seems that it's all done for me. Okay. I don't need to sign up notice as a student. I simply just click on the link. Let's go back now and see what the teacher sees. So I'm back in the teacher's account now. And if I click over to Results, I can see who has done this particular activity. And so far it's only Fred that's done the activity, but you can see I get information about Fred when they completed 
and their percentage grade. Now there's a few more things for you to understand and I'm just gonna take you through them. So remember that the results that you're seeing are dependent on the activity that you're currently focusing on. The results don't give you the results of all the different activities that you've set up, but just the results of that particular uh, activity and the students that have done it. So for example, if I click back home and jump back to another activity, for example, and then I went to the results, then obviously of that activity, then I'm going to see a different set of results. So you've always got to go, first of all, to the particular activity that you've set click on it and then go to the results of that activity to see how many students have completed it and what marks they got. Okay, so that was a quick taster of the free options in TWI. TWI actually makes lots more activity types and if you wanna learn more about those activity types, watch the video that's on the screen now and that should help you to learn more about what TWI offers. I'm gonna shift over now to the paid tool. I rarely recommend paid tools, but I must say I think TWI is very good value and it does a lot. The paid tool allows you to get PDF files of all your activities and it's all nicely organized. You can also use the paid tool to access Google Forms. So I'm gonna show you those two things and if you want to buy into TWI, there is a link that's on the screen now and you can click on that link and I'll put it in the description and that will give you a 10% discount all of the time, all of the whole period that you decide to make use of TWI. And I will get, just to be absolutely clear, a small amount of bonus money for each time someone clicks on that link. So thank you for supporting the channel. Let's have a look now then at the paid tool. So let me show you some of the benefits of using the paid tool. An obvious one is that when we make an exercise, and I've just created this one here, we can't share this immediately as a PDF file in the free tool. What we need to do is to copy, and we can click on copy here, for example, then paste that into a Word file, and then once you've pasted in the um, text, you would then click on copy and paste in the gap fill activity, etc., etc. So you have to copy each part separately, and then I would have to copy these questions here, and again, paste them into a Word file. However, if you've got the paid tool, you would just click over here and click on save as PDF and then click on export. And that file would be immediately downloaded and it would all be nicely formatted and ready for you to print and share out. So let's just have a quick look at it. And so here's the activity you can see straight away. I've got the whole activity all ready to print out and send to my students. And also I've got the answers at the end, which of course you don't have to print out. You can keep those separate. So this is a really good way of making content very quickly that you wanna share with your students. Now, another option that's very interesting, one that I particularly like, is that you can export to Google Forms. And that means you can create an interactive activity. So if I click here, you do need to link your account, but if it's linked, you click on Export, and it will actually shift everything into Google Forms. I can open it up. And now I've got the whole Google Forms ready with the actual text. And I really like this feature as well. Got the text on the front page. And then afterwards, you've got uh, your gap fill activity, uh, some questions for the multiple choice, etc. And it's all done for you. And it's all ready to share with your students. All you would need to do is click on send and click on the link. And I normally shorten the link and copy that and send it to the students. So with the paid tool, you're able to link to your Google Forms. Now, if you want to learn more about that, I'm going to put a video on the screen now that will go through that in more detail. Of course, if you have the paid tool, either the monthly one or the yearly one, then you're also going to get, for example, unlimited number of text activities that you can generate uh, in, in a month, and as well as many, many runs if you want to use the media tool. That is the ability to add in a YouTube video and it will extract the text from that YouTube video and then allow you to create activities around that. So that's also another great feature that's very limited in the free tool, but of course available in the paid tool. That gives you a quick idea of uh, some of the features that are in the Pro Tool. I'm a big fan of TWI. I think it's a great technology. I think it can save us lots of time. As always with these things, you've got to check them. But generally, I've been very impressed with the results that it's produced. 
Okay, really hope you like the video. And if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialize in, in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a special 14 part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live. And we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month, or sometimes it's two technologies. And we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well, so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training, this training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm going to leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.